Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. And today I wanna to give you a look at the 2021 Forest River Sabre 36BHQ. I'll show you right here. You have a nice large basement storage space, which I'd actually like to show you from the other side as well. Because you do have all of your water connections here. So you've got your fresh and city water connections. Uh, you can hook up your cable and satellite here. It does have a sprayer. You can run your hoses up through uh, this little port here. You just unscrew it, run your hoses up, and you're able to keep your compartment door closed. And then you can also winterize from here. Now, back to the other side. You do have a little outdoor kitchen here. So you've got the Everchill Cube Refrigerator bit of prep space and a single basin sink and it is lighted. You do have a large power awning. It does have lights on it. Uh, you've got your outdoor speakers. And on the back of the unit, you've got a nice large picture window. Let's go ahead and get a look inside. And we're going to start at the very front of the unit uh, in the bedroom. As you can see, the bed is on a slide, which offers more walk space through here. You've got a dresser here, three uh, pretty good sized drawers here. You got a TV backer, cable and satellite hookups and outlet. Over here is your closet. There are three doors for your closet because it does have a washer and dryer hookup. So this is where you access your washer. Um, it's got the mirrored closet doors. They do slide open. Got a nice large shelf up there. Down below, uh, space to hang your clothes and your dryer would go over there. It is lighted and then it does also have a couple of shelves as well. On each side of the bed, you do have USB ports and outlets. Um, I do believe, oh, they're right here. And then you also have a window on each side of the bed with its own shade and a nice little nightstand. Uh, there are reading lights as well. They are push button. Right outside the bedroom is your bathroom. So you do have a vanity space here, medicine cabinet, Large residential shower, got a seat in there, a few shelves, and a skylight overhead to offer a little more headroom. Over here is your toilet, and you do have some nice deep storage in here. Great place to store your towels and toilet paper or any other toiletries. Past your bathroom is a bunk space. Many people do use this for storage space. Um, however, it is a bunk area. So you do have an outlet and a couple of USB ports up there and it is lighted and there's a switch here. So if your kids leave the light on up there, you don't have to worry about crawling up there to turn it off. And then it does have a fold out ladder. You simply lift up and fold out and it stores away uh, when you're not using it. You have your control panel here. So this is where you control your main lights, uh, your water pump and water heater. This is your uh, tank drains. Uh, so you're able to see, you know, how full your battery is, your fresh tank, gray, black tank, gray tanks. Um, your thermostat for your main AC is here and you're able to see your battery voltage here as well. Just inside the door, test your uh, control board there, is a closet. It's got some hooks up there to hang your coats and just deep enough to store some boots. Ta-da! Before we get to the main living space, I wanna show you the bedroom, the uh, bunk room. So in your bunk room, you do have um, 
some storage cabinets here, closet. So you got a closet rod in there and you get some shelves in there. It also has a dresser. So you've got a couple of deep drawers in here. They're about the same size as the ones in the bedroom. They are very secure. That one shouldn't pop open while you're driving down the road. Uh, up here while is your TV backer. You've got your cable hookup, an outlet, and some USB ports. You've also got an outlet there. Um, over here, this is your return and then your ductwork. The bunk room does have a slide. On that slide, you do have a sofa. Um, so with the sofa, you could fold this out to make a bed. You just take the back cushions off, lift up just below the cushion right here. And it has fold out legs. It'll fold out to just about the closet. Uh, and then you fold the back of the couch down, put your cushions back up there and you have a bed. Over here are some more USB ports and another outlet. Now the main living space. So in the kitchen, you do have um, an island. This is possible by the opposing slides. So you have a slide on each side of the unit that are opposite each other. Um, it does have the LEDs underneath the counter. You get a little bit of a glow. You've got a large single basin apron front sink. It does have a pull down sprayer along with a soap dispenser. You've got some cabinet space. Um, and then you've also got some drawers again very secure over here is your Hisense refrigerator nice large refrigerator pretty sure it's bigger than the one in my house and what's great about this I'm not gonna pull the tape off just yet um, but this shelf actually folds back underneath this here. So you could actually put like a gallon of milk here or any, anything else that's pretty tall. And um, below that is your freezer. So this drawer and the drawer below it are both freezer drawers. So you have the uh, more narrow tray, and then you have a deeper tray underneath it. And then below that is a nice deep drawer, and you do have essentially an ice maker. So what you do is there's a top here, you take this top off, you fill it up, um, it's got ice trays, and then there's a little uh, turn dial, you turn that, it drops the ice into the lower tray, and then you just put more water in it. Over here, you've got a contour microwave. Up above that, you do have a uh, kind of narrow but deep cabinet there. That'd be a great place to store like cooking, cookie sheets, uh, you know, baking pans, anything that's fairly um, shallow but big. Below that, you do have a three burner graystone stove top and oven. Below that is a nice deep drawer. You can store your uh, pots and pans in there, so like your deeper pots. Over here, you've got a nice large cabinet. Uh, if you had a narrow trash can, you could put it in there or you could use this space for your baking sheets. Over here is your pantry and uh, it's actually got a motion sensor. So you got some shelves in there and it is lighted. Next to that is your entertainment space. So as you can see, it does have a fireplace, which is great for those cool fall nights, uh, early spring, when you're not quite ready to, to kick on your propane, uh, you can turn your fireplace on as long as you're plugged into shore power. Got a TV behind your TV. Not really sure if you can see it. Um, but there is some storage space there that is actually just as deep as the storage space up above it. At the back of the unit, you do have another uh, tri-filled sofa. 
So just like the one in the bunk room, it does fold out into a bed. You've got a uh, side table on each side with some storage space, USB ports and outlets. You've got these gorgeous sconces on the wall. Uh, it does have push light buttons up above it. And then uh, you've got some storage space up, ab up above that. On your main living or opposing slide, you've got the Michelle K recliner set. So with this, uh, each recliner does have heated seats. It does have LED lights and a massage setting. And that's on each one of these recliners. Um, then you do have a couple extra cup holders in the center. You got some storage space in there as well. Over here is your dinette. As you can see, it is a four person dinette. And um, underneath each of the seats is a little bit of storage space. You could keep your silverware in there or something. If you'd like to see this unit or any of the other great options we have available for sale here at Tri-State RV, come out and see us in Anna, Illinois, or visit us online at www.tristaterv.com.